a self-taught artist and radiologist, Sudhir Patwardhan began to paint professionally when he moved to Bombay from his hometown, Pune, in the mid-1970s. The cosmopolitan city, its suburbs and neighboring areas offered him new opportunities as he began to participate in its emerging leftist subculture. His paintings frequently reflect his politics, his affinity with the working classes and his aspirations of being a painter of the people. But Fardhan conflates multiple moments of a narrative onto a singular canvas, representing life in the city. We see this, for instance, in Accident on May Day, which depicts a crowded train platform with passers-by carrying an injured man on a stretcher. Building off of principles of realism, he represents his subjects and surroundings in an accessible manner. With street play, Patwardhan offers perspectives on mill workers' struggles in the city in the early 1980s. Here, he divides his composition into three parts, bringing together disjointed segments of an urban panorama. We see a shadowed textile mill on the left, with a group of seemingly overburdened workers exiting the building. A car, possibly belonging to the mill owner, is split by a pillar uniting the left and center panels. Behind the pillar, we see a figure who bears resemblance to the artist watching a street performance by a leftist theatre group in central Bombay. The performance, likely focusing on social injustice, is seen by oppressed workers, upper-class citizens of the city, as well as other passers-by. But Fardhan continues the narrative through a reflection of the scene in a glass door front in the right panel. Through this image, Patwardhan, who we see as a participant or observer, equates his own artistic practice with the role of the street performers, speaking up against the exploitation of textile labourers in the city's mills, foreshadowing the historic 1982 strikes. Concerned with the interplay of intimacy and distance, but Fardhan chooses the style of narrative figuration to convey his messages. His works not only portray the masses, addressing local issues of social mobility, poverty and urbanization, but are also legible across class and educational divides.